last spot that we've got for today. It's drawing from this, which are big and oh, shower. I wouldn't, wouldn't know that. I'm glad that face sends you. Have you used that as a thumbnail? <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, okay. Hospital time, so... Oh, it's always here. Are you okay? Date. The nurse told me you were here. Yes, just resting. Iris's surgery was successful. <gasps> Let's go! They told me she would be fine. After I heard that, a weight left my shoulders, and I just collapsed. Aww. It seems that she passed out and was brought here. Yeah, the nurse told me. But I'm fine now. I feel much better. Okay. But Iris still only has, because of... Um, it's not a brain injury, is it? Is it a tumor? Something to the brain, like... She still doesn't have a whole lot. Yeah, oh yeah, and she only has oh she only has one eye. Um So she's like I mean this surgery is successful, so like she'll be able to live out her life. We <laughs> forgot about that. Peekaboo. Pardon me. When Iris was little, we used to play hide and seek. Seeing that curtain made me think about it. It's only so stuck in the past. I don't know, maybe like, I, don't, I just feel like she's always thinking of something in the past. Maybe that's just how, maybe I don't realize how much I think about things in the past, I guess. Uh, oh, there's a sink. She's always reminiscing. Uh, I guess that's it. What? Bedside table. Mm, yeah, looks like that's about it. Um. Do you know anything about Iris and So? So Sujima, the politician. Mm-hmm. Yes. We believe they might know each other. I don't think so. Okay. I am so thankful for Oda. I don't know. He could be the murderer. Words don't even do it justice. Oda saved Iris, didn't he? She might not even be in any of this. I heard the police talking about it. If it wasn't, if it wasn't for him. Oda didn't go to the warehouse that night. Iris would be dead. Mm. See, that's not completely true. Because in another timeline, he did go to the warehouse and he also did die. I really don't even know what to say. It's frustrating that... There isn't a bigger word for thank you. <gasps> we didn't get to ask, um... Mayumi about the chocolate. It didn't give us that option again. When you clicked, I couldn't see what I was saying. I scrolled down, I was like, oh, this is it. Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like a sink. Uh, okay, what else about Ota? Oda was actually one of my students. Mm -hmm. I was his teacher in elementary school. Even back then, he had such a strong sense of justice. Not that I'm one to say, but I believe he grew up to be quite an amazing young man. He risked his own life to save someone else. Mm. His mother must have raised him well. Okay, let's talk about Iris. She Iris lost her left eye. Yeah. They haven't found it yet. Uh, it's probably in the collection with everyone else's left eye. If the optic nerve and blood vessels are intact, they told me they might be able to restore it. 
but I'm thankful she's alive. I don't know how we're going to find that eye. I, I lost someone very important to me. Monica Ui, my best friend. One of the only friends I had. While I was waiting for news from Iris' surgery, I, I started thinking about Monica. And I felt like I was going to lose my mind. How did you lose her? That what must happened have been her? very painful. Jesus, Gum's gonna jump scare yes. me. Oh, about your alibi. Hey, Tomi, what were you doing around 3 a.m. today? What did what did she say her alibi was? Mom loves you. What do you have to say to that, buddy? Okay, well. He has nothing to say. I don't mean anything by it. I'm just doing my job. I was sleeping at home. Everyone's sleeping at 3 a.m. is probably the most unbelievable thing in this game. Who's 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 actually asleep at 3 a.m.? I mean, I am if I work the next day, but. I mean, if you work a nine to five, then yes. Tell me, is she still a teacher? Is she retired? You're something you have some thing. More often than not, I I would be. Iris is up streaming at that day, the at that time. Picked me up around four a.m. That's when I heard about all this. Oh, she is still a teacher. Okay, yeah. Her so testimony that makes sense. matches what was in the investigation material. Mm -hmm. Cops came to pick her up around four. Correct. How long does it take to get from Hitomi's house to the warehouse? Twenty to twenty-five minutes by car. And the polar bear ran out of the warehouse at around three fifteen. <gasps> Are we thinking it's her? If you're fast, you can just make it. Do you suspect Hitomi? No. Not necessarily, but. Why? Sorry for asking you so many questions at a time like this. No, it's fine. I should go. So what do we got? Nothing. Off to headquarters. Where? I'm gonna see the boss. To keep all options open? I don't know. Like, Hitomi has no reason. Before we reach HQ... Let's summarize our investigation I don't, I don't think so she has far. any reason to. These are tasty when they're golden brown. I believe you're referring to hash browns. Oh, a hash brown sounds so good. Nothing else, nothing else. Mirror, mirror in the car. Who is the most handsome policeman by far? We're a detective. Why, that is Mr. Date, of course. Date, this is starting to concern me. You really should get some sleep. Fair enough. Boxing gloves. A boxer puts his boxing gloves in the glove box. Okay, um, I guess let's, let's summarize it up. So about so, what do we, we have nothing. Only circumstantial evidence linking so Sejima to the new Cyclops serial killings. I agree, but there has to be more to it. The Kumakuras had connections to both victims. Mm-hmm. So has a connection to the Kumakuras. Mm-hmm. There's a common link there. They have to be involved somehow. So also might have connections to Iris. Because So appeared in Iris's Somnium? Yeah. I don't... I don't know. What else do we have about and So? I'm more interested in the hired guns that So uses as bodyguards. I did some research and discovered that Mr. Sejima hires substantial security. It if makes all the security sense. staff are this heavily armed, the Kuza gangs pale in comparison. Unless his bodyguards so are part of 
Unknown, the gang. But there is definitely more than he is letting on. That's how he hires his bodyguards? Uh, let's talk about Mayumi. This shit broke Mayumi my heart. Is suffering from dementia. Oh, yeah. If Mayumi followed Ota and Iris, it is highly likely that she saw the person in the polar bear costume. She won't but remember it. I don't think she followed. She might not remember. Correct. That's a... A far walk. Mizuki did not have any new information about Okiura fishery. No. Currently, it seems there is nothing linking that company to Renju. Mm hmm. Hmm. Still, something's not right. Any other information? I feel like this There's day we have piece of news. not gotten anything. What is it? The Odoroki Man chocolate found at the warehouse. Yes. Fingerprints were found on it. Oh. Who's? Mayumi Matsushita's. See, we should have asked her about the chocolate. You didn't let what? us do that option. Mayumi bought the chocolate After we did. at the convenience store 812 on Koshu. All this the other ones. This captured on security footage. 812 stores are commonly called 8s. Okay. This is not far from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. Hold on a second. There's no way she could have been driving that. I'm having trouble keeping the facts straight. Allow me to summarize. Okay. Please. The chocolate was purchased yesterday at 10.33 p.m. Uh-huh. That's the same time Ota stole that car. Correct. What conclusions can we draw from that? That the two of them were together? No. That they walked over there and Mayumi went into the store and All bought a chocolate then? Is that Mayumi bought the chocolate at an eight store last night. And that same chocolate somehow ended up in the warehouse. Did she go there and drop it? It is possible. Well. Mm. So we spent all that detectiving today for a chocolate? Sorry to interrupt your brainstorming. But there's a call from the boss. Connect me. Date, did you hear that Iris's operation is over? Yeah. Yeah, I heard about it at the hospital. She made it, right? Yeah, but she's still unconscious. She's currently in the ICU. No visitors allowed. Damn. All right. Ota, however, seems like he can talk now. He's out of treatment? Yeah, he's in a general ward now. Got it. I'll head over. <laughs> I'll meet you there. She's gonna meet us. She's gonna meet us at one of these. She hasn't met us for any of these, and now she is. How are you feeling, Ota? You know, surprisingly, I'm feeling pretty good. Hmm. I'm still under anesthesia, so I don't have any pain. That's fair. All right. That's good. Oh my goodness, you keep hitting my mic. Ota, I'm sorry to put this on you right after your surgery, but can you talk to us for a minute? Happy to answer? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's... He's ready. I wonder what questions we'll have. Can we ask him about that thing now? What is he gonna do? His heart rate's gonna go up? We'll be able to see on this monitor. Is it a bedside table when you move it away from the bed? I suppose then it's just a table. Okay. Hey, Date, when are you planning on leaving? Good stuff is gonna come on soon. You're not watching that tonight. The good stuff? I don't think they would. What? What are you trying to watch? In a. I was gonna say in a hotel. In a hospital. Hey, Date. I don't think I can sleep by myself tonight. Will you sleep with me? You just asked when I was leaving. Why? 
Why me? Oh, then that old woman over there is fine. Did you just call a boss an old, old woman? woman? Oh, so you don't do that. This is why Oda gets no bitches. Because he... She's not even that old. She doesn't look old at all. You fucked up. <laughs> he absolutely fucked up. Why would you say that to her? That was her only response. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Why did you come here, boss? I want to question you. In, Ota. in me? You protected the woman you love. That's not easy to do. <laughs> I wanted to meet the brave little hero. <laughs> like the brave little toaster. Hero? Little? I'm 24. To me, you're still little. Do you mean bitches when you are the bitches? Ugh, jeez. What is this? Any new clues, boss? I want to hear from you. If I did, I would have told you already. I don't trust that. I'll leave this to you, Date. So you're just gonna sit here and supervise? Okay. Why'd you smack me on the oh, side yeah. of the head? You hit me over the head with that walk, didn't you? Oh, uh, that was... Mm-hmm. I thought I needed to protect Tessa, so... Isn't there something you want to say to me? Sorry. I'm sorry. Mm. It's okay. But you're not going to get a second chance. I won't do it again. I swear on Ganesha. You should swear to a god that's a little closer, kid. Okay, who stabbed you? Were you watching the stream? No, I was driving over there. A big polar bear. Yes, I'm talking about who was inside. Did you see them? No. Whoever it was was probably wearing that costume to hide their identity. Makes sense. Yeah, about that thing. That's what I want to know. That's... This all could have been avoided if you just answered that fucking question. <sighs> Sorry. I promised that I wouldn't tell anyone. Then I'll tell Iris about your fake accounts. Mm. You know what happens after that, right? Everything you built up here is going to come crashing down. I don't think he's threatened <sighs> by that. But I can't tell you. Why? Why not? Calm down and think about it. The criminal who attacked Iris is still out there. Iris might have seen the criminal's face. Whoever did this might come back to kill her. Fair oh. point. If you want to protect her, the fastest way is for us to catch this guy. But to do that, I need information. You tell us what you know. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll do it about that thing later. Does this jog your memory? Mm-hmm. Oh, that. Mm. What? Do you know something about it? You don't have to show me the thermograph. It's written all over his face. Yeah. Absolutely. You mean after hitting you with the walk? Yes. Mm -hmm. I took Tessa in the van and we ran away. So where? I drove for a while, then we decided to take a breather. Where at? I parked the car at Femisto on Koshu. I told Tessa I was gonna go in and buy something to drink. I got out of the car, and I went inside. And was your mom there? I heard Tessa screaming. <gasps> what? Ota, help! I ran out of the store as fast as I could. But the car was driving away! I looked around... And I saw there was a car with its engine still on, and... The station wagon, right? Yeah. Before I even realized what I was doing, 
I was behind the steering wheel. I didn't mean to steal it. I just needed to borrow it. So the polar bear got in the van with Iris? The time was 10.33 p.m. Now we know why Ota stole the station wagon. I took the car, then drove out onto Koshu, but I couldn't find the van anywhere. I searched for what felt like hours. You didn't contact the police. Mm. I thought after I hit you. Maybe I shouldn't have hit me you then. Have worried about that. But that's all that I was thinking at the time. I thought that if I called the cops, they'd arrest me. I wasn't thinking clearly. I was panicking. Yeah. And that's why I didn't realize it right away. Realize what? My phone. I left my new phone in the car. Why is that so important? Because the phone had GPS on it. If I looked it up, I would find the location of the van. Smart. So I drove as fast as I could to an internet cafe and looked it up. That's when I found out my new phone was at a warehouse near the water. You know the rest. Mm hmm. Do I? Did you see me turn off the saw? Yeah, but everything after that was off screen. Yeah, what, what exactly? I mean, you didn't try and take off the polar bear what mask? Happened? I honestly don't remember much. My mind went blank. I remember rushing the bear. And I think I was fighting him for a while. Uh huh. And we got tangled up. And then before I knew it, he got me in the stomach with a knife. Oh, God. If that was. <gasps> do, wait, do you think it was. Was it Mayumi's knife? Just to make absolutely certain. Why would she be carrying that along? was in the suit? No, I didn't. Voice? Body type? Nothing. Sorry. Anything at all you can remember? I'm sorry. I told you everything. But where would she get a polar bear suit, though? I can't though? think of anything else. Are you sure? Yes. Date, look. Oh, come on. After all this, what is he trying to hide? That thing. Remember when I told you about my day Saturday? I kind of lied a little. I'm going to lie. I don't remember. What did you lie about? When I got to Sunfish Pocket, I saw a sign that said the place was all rented out. Okay. That part is true. But after that, I said I went home, but I didn't. I was hanging out in Akihabara for a few hours. Mm -hmm. Is that when you bought your new phone? Oh, yes, you did buy a new yeah. phone then. Why did you hide that? Because something happened after. What? This must have been about 8.50. I was going to cross the intersection in Akiba, and I saw Mr. Okiura's car at the light. But when I got close, I saw Tessa driving it. What? Iris was driving it? Because that's where Renju, like, a sunfish pocket, whatever that... Whoa, you surprised me. That's, that's where he was dead. Than you are. Is something wrong? What do you mean? Hey, Tessa, do you have a license? Oh, I think she does. Yeah, of course I do. Hmm. Not have one. You don't have a license? So, well, they said Renju was killed somewhere else, so is she transporting his dead body? Mr. Okiura asked me to run an errand. Is he not in the I car? Have to borrow his car? Please don't tell anyone. Okay. You promise? Anything for you. Ugh, what a simp. After that, the light turned green and she drove off. Was Iris the only one in the car? Yeah, it was just her. So she dropped off Renju for someone else to murder him? That's what I meant by that thing. 
And idle driving without a license is a huge deal. So I kept quiet. I think the bigger deal is she was driving the car of someone who was going to die that night. Saturday at 6.15 p.m. Ota saw Iris and Renji together. Mm -hmm. They were leaving the Sunfish Pocket Building. Two and a half hours later... Iris is driving a car? Iris driving Renji's car. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? 6.15, 8.15, I can't remember the time that we thought Renju was murdered and then brought to Sunfish Park, because I think we were there like 10, 30, 11? This sounds really bad for Iris. But consider the current circumstances. Yeah, she, would she take out her own eyeball? Iris had her left eye taken out by a criminal who is possibly the new Cyclops killer. And if Ota had not reached her in time, she would have been killed. Maybe Renju wanted uh, her to take his car back because he was, I don't know, was gonna go with somebody else. And that was the murder. What is going on here? I don't fucking know. I'm getting all these timelines mixed matched. Ota is acting strange. How? I advise caution. What do you mean? Yeah. What's going on? Does he have a gun too? Oh, he has a knife? I don't believe it. He's holding a knife. He fucking stabbed himself. Why does he have that? In any case, you know what you have to do now. I know. Has his hand been under there this whole entire time? <sighs> Let me go. Let me go. What the hell do you think you're doing? Shut up. Just let me go! The boss to drug him? Sleeping gas. Now you've done it. I can't question him like this. <gasps> it's somnia time. It's time to sink! You can still get information. I also still don't trust her exactly. in this whole process. But... I got a little hair sticking up. Okay. But as you know, All right, 6 minutes. Let's see. Be a problem, what's going on in his mind? Are you sure this is okay? Ota just came out of surgery. If anything happens, I'll take responsibility. But it's fine. Just get it done. Is it a weird thing when he's out of um, he's out of surgery? I'm a little scared about this thing. It's gonna be in this kid's mind. We don't know anything about him, but he's a simp. Into the Somnia. Okay, I don't know why it was taking that long, but anyway. Quick restart, and we are here. In a box. Can you please take me with you? As long as I have Wi-Fi, I don't need anything else. Sorry, we can't have pets. Hm. Cold-hearted old man. Okay. Is this... Cold storage warehouse? Yes, it is. Seems to be. Not a manga cafe or otaku shop? To be fair, Dante, this is probably all that he's thinking about. No, but a warehouse is a commonly used location in live action dramas. You know a lot. Predicting this, I did some research on Ota's taste. I see. <laughs> By the way, are you smaller? Either that, or everything else is bigger. Interesting. Hey, that's... The polar bear. Iris is about to be... Stop right there! Oh, he's like... The heavens call. The earth cries out. The crowds roar. All calling on me to strike back against evil. 
Hold on, Tessa. I will save you. Oh, he's having he's having his main character moment. memory of it it appears to be a bit exaggerated it's very exaggerated right, let's help reproduce the memory okay reproducing the memory Somnium scan. Activate. is it still for for mental locks is it always for i haven't paid attention we got one Two, okay. Three. God, that's fucking. <laughs> that's creepy. And four. Okay. Reproduce the fiery battle between Oda and the polar bear. Save Iris. Save the world. <laughs> like the sun. Exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. Sir, Tate, I wasn't even paying attention to it. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. Okay. Charge forward, secure the route. The ice on the floor is slick. Yes. Jump, slide, punch, lie down. Oh my god, all these fucking take so long. Let's not do that. Oh my goodness, we're so itty bitty baby! What the f- Okay, we're just gonna take like... A forklift. Why does all of this take so long? And we're so absolutely small. Heated insulated door. The door. Like listening takes a hundred seconds. What the? F okay, you. We gotta interact with something. The ice on the floor is slick. I don't know what lying down's gonna do, but. We absorbed it? Bunga. Did my body temperature melt the ice? Iba, how hot are you? Those who don't fight won't survive! Oh, this go two this go two ways too? Oh my god. It's a, it's a fierce showdown. There's more water. Tessa, may the glory of victory be yours. It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Escort him to the green shelf, escort him to the red shelf. What we have two? A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over it. Like, what 
the... That's 10 seconds, this. I rubbed the frost off, but nothing is happening. How am I supposed to even figure that out? We can do the green one. I'm late at the cold has frosted over. Should we breathe on it? I don't know. See. I see. Right. This one is gonna take us such a long time. Like, if we still have to do four... I would be happier about D. Are we good? I'm sure. Like I feel like we're not doing a plate attached to the shell. The cold has frosted over. Anything over it? Do we have to punch something? Punch it and get him over here. I don't know. Oh, punching it did nothing. I was only using ninety-two percent of my power. Why would you do that? Basically a hundred percent. Not if it's rock slide. A plate attached. You sure start from the beginning because there was something that I missed? Okay. Something to interact with? But then, something strange happened. What's happening? Oh, that's right. What is this? I get stepped on the polar bear? Heck? Is that just our little body over there? If this was another, I would have died already. Next time, you will get me. It's just destiny. Yeah, I'm sorry. I think you're gonna die in this one. We kind of show them the letter A on the shelf, okay? No, I will fight oh, so we don't have to do the other ones, okay? So he says. Noted. I'm the one who has to help him. We have to make Hero of Justice Ota fight back and look cool doing it. Counteract. Move the wooden box. Okay, okay. I hear you, Pewter. I hear you. We use the forklift, but let's see. Hold on. Push, investigate, break. I don't think we can do any of that. Can we activate the forklift? Pray? I don't know if we can push it. What is the top thing? That's not like to use it, right? I guess we'll figure it out. What? Sorty. This is Ota's world, right? Your role in this dream is to assist Ota in his fight against the polar bear. Lousy Ota. Thanks to him, my image as a cool intellectual has been destroyed. What? All systems green. Synchronization rate, 6%. Now, cargo handling car. Forklift! Sortie! Is that his catchphrase? Hey, forklift! Fork over that weapon now! Start it up with forklift. I, I can't 
can't stand. I'm weak. To come out from a defensive position to make an attack. Did we really help Iris like that? Okay. We have no choice but to have Ota do it. We need him to stand up. I guess we gotta, we're not gonna have time to do anything, but... We're gonna make time on 7th. Encourage, motivate, cheer. I mean, it doesn't matter if we use it. <laughs> we'll motivate him? Stand up. Don't beg for it. Earn it. Do it and you'll be rewarded. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up. Now, count up your sins! Uh, there! Why? And then did the polar bear leave after this? Does this thing do two different timelines? How many timelines do we have? Timeline splits here, what the? We have more timelines than Jeff. Okay, well... I'm so many- why? Why so many timelines? Why? Still making the same decisions? Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Ah, uh, really? Okay. Seriously, dude? Come on. <laughs> You did, you did the green shell? So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. Hmm. Meaning? Sorry if that was on. I did not. <laughs> temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, uh, what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there. But it makes it likely. Mm -hmm. The evidence is. Oh. The uh, chocolate. Otoroki Man chocolate. This was discovered in the corner of the warehouse. Mayumi Matsushita's fingerprints were found on the package. Mayumi purchased the chocolate yesterday at 10.33 p.m. The purchase was made at an 812 convenience store. The store was located approximately 100 yards from the familiar But I'm still like, Ota how would she market. have been in a polar bear suit? The Hodoroki Man chocolate. Also, why is this just in our pocket? Wouldn't the fingerprints kind of be... Like, this should be an evidence, like, an evidence folder. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So... That doesn't prove anything. Her fingerprints were on Naomi's it. Naomi's fingerprints were on the package. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. 
Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. And she also bought it that night. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Mm. Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom, even through the costume. How do you know? And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. She was sleepwalking. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I I'm not. Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse. But you're hiding that from us. But you think she would, like, set up all the streaming stuff? Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am not. Sure. I don't know if she could do all that sleeping. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? Just tell us everything you know. What is Oda hiding? Um, oh. The two cars? That's not it. The streaming equipment? The knife? The kitchen knife with the floral pattern. Mom, I love you always. It's carved on the handle. Look at that. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. So see, we did learn things. We just he didn't know so it at I the time. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? The criminal ran away with the knife. Mm. What knife were you holding? No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. You did. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Because I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused. And then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... And? Mom never liked Tessa. So maybe... Just mm, maybe... Motive? Mom hired someone to kill Tessa. And she gave them that kitchen knife. I don't know. I thought of it that way. Oh, it's not <laughs> looking good. Like that would ever happen. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. Okay. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris. Because... Oh, there's two things here. The two cars. That seems to be unrelated. We don't have a whole lot of things. These two? The Matsushita's van was stolen from the parking lot of the Famista while Iris was in the car. That was yesterday, 10.32 p.m. One minute later at the 812, which was about a hundred yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki man chocolate. She entered the 812 about a minute earlier. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. So somebody else and took that the van. That Mayumi being the polar bear is also next to impossible. Phew. However, I can't completely clear her. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. So she could have... What? But that was... In any case, I need to hear from Mayumi herself. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. Uh, that's... I'm gonna head to Matsushita Diner. That's gonna be what? tough. Hey, well, wait a minute. Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? 
Your mother wouldn't kill anyone, right, Ota? Thank you, Date. Hmm. But I think she's like talk to the fucking Sorry for the late night, Miss Kumakuras. But I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered about the warehouse. Mm -hmm. I did it. I did everything. Okay, you did what? We just go into the next day? I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest. I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true. I kidnapped that witch, I took her to the warehouse, and... And what costume were you wearing? Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out. If it's you, show us the eyeball. Yes. And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. And you were the one wearing it? Yes, that's right. Hmm. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. Boss, shut up. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that. Does not I know. heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. It doesn't make sense. Is the boss in here with us? Or is she on the other side of the... Um... The other side of the glass or whatever. I don't think she knew it was stream. The world needs to see that witch die. How did you set all that Just up? A quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about online streaming? <laughs> yeah. I'm not stupid. I might be old, but. Could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. Just tell yeah. me what you did. The the lineup of things. I, I can't explain it in words. Why not? It's more like muscle memory. Mm. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. Yeah, that's I don't think so. I picked them out of the garbage. Because people would throw away perfectly good equipment. Which remember to be fair though her it's true i planned the whole thing her memory she she is losing memories but well uh... trying to figure out what the heck don't get in see she didn't do that you were in the polar bear costume right that means you stabbed him See? Yes, I, I stabbed him. No, it's not her. With the knife I brought from home. I, I, I wasn't trying to hurt him. I just saw only a little stab. He fought me, and then it just. Why did you kidnap Iris? I mean, she has My like. Son is under that witch's spell. Reason to. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. Fair I enough. wanted to save him. Why'd you take out her eye? Because I... I just hated her so much. So you wanted to keep her eye? Killing her wasn't enough. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. Mm -hmm. I know. 
They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okura. That's right. And took out the left eyes. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So did you do all of those? So this person in the polar bear costume, they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? You killed Choco and Renju? Yes, I killed them. No. Well, why is Mamie? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is going to work? I, I have a memory disorder. Yeah. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. Uh -huh. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. She confessed why the game's still going and wrap it up focuses me. No, it's not. It can't be. The thing is, why would the boss be like, she confessed, that's it. Like, come on, boss. Isn't Rinju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. That's why I killed him. And his, his ex-wife? Renju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't matter. The bonds of matrimony are eternal. Uh, In your opinion, I don't think, I don't think so. Renju felt the same way. You are really starting to Renju, aggravate me. Renju had another lover. I answered your questions, so there. Okay, then answer this one. I am not lying. Mm. You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying. I killed Shoko and Renju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half. Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. Yeah, exactly. I was kidding. Mm. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer. I am. Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. Yes. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota, she may have seen the criminal's face. But she probably doesn't remember. You know what it. I'm going to say, right? Date, sink with her. <gasps> Oh, we got another sink. Let's go. Pewter, we're going to sink with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. I know, another so quickly. Let's go. Um, well. Uh, I was Peter going to tell what us. What happened? The sink machine isn't operating to capacity. Peter, what happened? Yesterday's sink, well, suffice to say, uh, Oda and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. Uh huh. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. Okay, so task manager, it, close it, and restart it. How long will it take to fix? 16 hours, at least. 16 hours? You've got eight. But that's impossible. So we can't sink yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We're gonna we're gonna sink we there. To find some clues. Oh, okay. Good idea. Pewter, 
Computer, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have to give me at least eight. That pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. All right, pewter, you gotta work overtime. Yeah, pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey, this is a hostile work environment. I'm sorry, pewter. But... Gotta go for it. Why would Mayumi lie? I don't know. She is probably protecting someone. But who? Ota? Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. But let's let's do all the other choices. I'm pretty sure the answer is Ota, but let's see let's see what she has to say about um Congressman Sajima has no connection to Mayumi. So Or do you know something I don't? No, sorry. Just a guess. No need to apologize. I know that the brilliant mind of Kaname Date wouldn't waste my time throwing out random guesses. I mean we're driving, we gotta pass the time. I'm sure I will agree with you once you explain your reasoning. In Detail. We gotta kill time, my boy. have to bully me. I was just thinking out loud. This drive is going long. This is bad. His condition is worsening. Perhaps we need to increase the dose, or reduce it. Of what? I can hear you muttering. You know. What drugs am I on? Mayumi hates Iris. I doubt she would protect her. No, she. You're right. Took her eyeball. Meth? Okay, Ota. It's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. She could think it's him and is. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. He could have stabbed himself. Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Very fair thought. Yes. Why would he do that? Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. Mine? What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Why? Why? Oh, why can't Ota be the culprit? I, I don't know. The van stolen. The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. You think Iris drove? She could have been driving. Yeah, we didn't find any other How fingerprints. So? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But why would she the go there? The forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. Gloves, Date. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. Uh huh. That was just a dream. Okay. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. I don't know. The other Cyclops killer was a man who thought women's eyes were so pretty that he wanted them all. And if... Ota's that in love and obsessed and with Iris and his mom being like, Oh, she's a witch. I uh, could have taken her eye. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? No! That thought has not crossed my mind at all. Why? Even asked Ota to do it. Why? Perhaps she ordered him to. I mean, that makes no sense. I but did you what? murder? Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. A performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. 
I don't like this timeline. They went to the warehouse separately. Then they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. Possible to take out your own eye and put it back in? No, thank you. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the song. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. We did say that. True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then... Stay away from Tessa! Perhaps Mayumi witnessed the entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. Why? So she lied to protect Ota. But why? Yes. I still... But this is only a theory. Yeah, why? For the views? Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. I don't... It is one of many possibilities. It's possible. But I don't think it's very likely. Yeah. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renji were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Yes. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic. Or even psychotic. Mm-hmm. We can't rule anything out. We're literally nowhere closer to figuring out who it is. 